and and we're live okay here we go good so, morning everybody good, good sunday morning, morning. That's right. So uh, welcome all to the channel. Uh, back again uh, in your life. We have uh, Stephen and Janica from Toronto, Ontario, a couple of videographers that are just making it happen uh, during the pandemic. Um, you know, um, Stephen, what's the latest news on your um, short film 40 days later, 400 days later? Oh, wow. So short film. Yeah, we, uh, we, we wrapped a short film back in, I guess it would be about February, March, 400 days later. It was the uh, creation of my extremely talented and uh, wonderful actress wife, Angela Bell. She created a piece uh, based on the artist's experience during this pandemic. And uh, yeah, we've, we've had an amazing experience shooting and creating it. And we submitted it to a bunch of festivals. And we actually won uh, the best short film category for drama series at the Changing Face International Film Festival in Sydney, Australia. So we're really excited about that because the film will be now an official selection for that festival in November, which I'd love to travel to Sydney, Australia, but I don't think we'll be able to. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the first festival we heard from and we're really excited to, for the Next Fest was coming up and uh, yeah, it was an amazing experience. We got a great review from Ian Ritchie of Opera Going Toronto, uh, who reviewed the film. We got some more reviews coming out too. So really cool experience shooting a film with a smaller team during this, uh, this pandemic, obviously. And so we kept it at a crew of about, oh, I'd say three. And we had uh, two actresses, Angie and Madeline Leon, and our little dog, Molly. So that was our our small, tiny, but mighty crew. And uh, we created about a nine minute and 45 second piece featuring this story shot on the Zcam E2S6 uh, and using uh, Cerui anamorphic lenses. So that was a really cool uh, project to be a part of to shoot anamorphic on uh, my cinema camera. Uh, so I don't know if any people shoot here in anamorphic or know what anamorphic is, but really quick description. Black bars, top and bottom, wide field of view for lots of information. Uh, it's kind of a very traditional cinematic way of shooting. Think like 1917, you know, those kind of like wide aspect ratio films. So that's how we shot it. Uh, the trailer is up on the website if you want to check it out, www.400dayslater.com. So yeah, cool website name. And uh, yeah, the information's there, the press kit, press release, all that sort of stuff talking about the short film and uh, all the things involved uh, to create this. So we were really excited and the response has been amazing and we're looking forward to seeing where it goes next. Very cool, very cool. So we already have a, a, a few uh, viewers. We have Feel the Music, uh, Mode Faison, Bro Gaming, and Bradley Green on, on the line right now. Yeah, so you know, uh, why don't you show uh, what people are gonna win today? Uh, all first, right. so, yeah. first we have the iSteady V2. It's not even out in the market yet, right? Ho oh, yes. iSteady V2. Uh, yeah. So we did the, a, an episode reviewing all of these uh, gimbals and um, uh, and camera holders. So how would you describe the Iron B? Uh, the Iron B, the the Falcon three axis gimbal for smart uh, for the action camera. Uh, well, no, no, no. The Iron B that we gave away last week. I think oh, Zachary yeah. won that. Zachary Ryu, yeah, big shout to Zach. Um, yeah, that sounds like a camera grip. I mean, in the episode, you were the one actually who covered it. So yeah. that, you know, it has a Sony A6300 on the box. It was like a camera grip, which you can remotely control your, your, your camera, utilizing zoom functions, capture functions. What other functions were on that little grip, Jenica? I think we had- it was like a zoom function, uh, record function, autofocus. Yeah. Like it, it did more than I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad, actually. It was surprisingly effective, as you found out, using this grip when walking around the waterfront. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you know what? Um, you know what? Why don't we reward the people who are just on right away and give out, give away the iSteady V2 right away? How about we well, do let's, that? Let's talk about it for one quick thing because yeah, like, yeah. we didn't even say what it is. This is an iSteady V2 by Hohem. Uh, and so we got these gimbals given to us, quick you know, disclaimer and backstory by Hohem and Inky, you know, also the maids, the Falcon. And this little iSteady V2 is kind of like an Osmo that you have from DJI. It uses your smartphone 
And you can use this if you're blogging, if you're walking down the road and you want to capture kind of steady shots. It also has a little face tracker built up top here as well too. And it's all done by the iSteady V2 app, which is through Hohem. And this works with iPhone, Android, Nokia phones that I don't even know exist. You know, all these smartphones work really well with this. And it allows you to kind of have that steady motion of shot because not every smartphone has IBIS. And so this little thing really gives you an example of that. It's well built, it's uh, got a good battery life, it's very light. And that is one thing that works really well uh, when you're doing any kind of vlogging as your arm can get tired if you're holding something in front of you. So really cool package and uh, it's not even on the market. So kind of a cool giveaway. So let's let's do it, Janica. So who we got here that's on right now? We got a okay. bunch of people. Yeah, we got a, a bunch of people. Uh, I'll need a few minutes to uh, <laughs> kind of put everyone on there. But right now we have Feel the Music, Mode Phasin, Bro Gaming, Bradley Green, uh, Yixin, uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Hector uh, Rustand, it looks like. Yeah, Gary Taneda, who won the, uh, who won the Moza Aircross 2, that I am ashamed to say that I have not sent it to him yet. Oh he gosh, get in the mail. Yeah, he has, I've been apologizing him, to him completely because, um, yeah, we're trying to figure out what the best form of uh, shipment should be. If it should just be standard shipping over a uh, over boat or International Express, so we're gonna figure that out either today or tomorrow. But then we also have, let's see, who else do we have? So a quick disclaimer, by the way, we've also with these products, they are free for you. So if you win them, they are yours. Just you're gonna be paying for shipping. So as we as our kind of like mantra with products is, we give these anywhere in the world. All you gotta do is pay for shipping. So we've given out uh, an action camera, the uh, DJ Osma Action, to Kevin. Uh, way over in the Philippines or Malaysia, Philippines, Malaysia, Malaysia. yeah, yeah, Kevin Malaysia, yeah. So we, yeah. We gave out a bag to Poland. Uh, I mean, so like these products can go anywhere. Just all you gotta do is pay shipping. We gave a Mavic Mini away. How was that, eh? We did. That's right. Yeah, Bill Livingston. Yeah, he got yeah. the Mavic Mini and then shot Liv a car. Livingstone. I I also keep saying Livingston. We gotta yeah, we gotta get that. Bill, yeah. I'm so very sorry, but your commercial that you shot with the Mavic Mini was epic. So if you Check out Bill's channel. Uh, he also has his little uh, commercial that he shot. We'll link it in the uh, in the description, or we can even link it in the chat here, of him utilizing the Mavic Mini in winter, taking a video of his Land Rover, I believe, or a Land Rover commercial that he shot for fun. And it looks epic. I mean, on a Mavic Mini, he did a great job. Yeah, Bill, uh, reach out to uh, whoever makes Land Rover and see if like yeah. you can get something going, because... Stephen, what did you do with Mazda? Or are you, well, am I allowed to say that? Actually? Well, you can now. We're actually putting <laughs> okay. a video up this week. Uh, I got a video coming out this week with Eric and myself talking about how you can make a product video off of any product that you are inspired to make. So you can make a product video off of uh, your phone, whatever you're wearing, a car, you name it, food. And then we created a video for Mazda uh, with the CX-5, just shot the car. We wanted to kind of create some content for our portfolio reel. Uh, we put on social media as a reel and as a TikTok in those nine by 16 format videos. And we, you know, believe it or not, Mazda contact us saying they love the videos. So that won't happen maybe for every video you make, but it's always a great practice that you can encourage your, your viewers to look at the products that you are shooting. Plus also it's great for your reel or your portfolio. And if you tag the company, you never know if they might get hold of you. Okay, that's right. Uh, and so I'm still putting in uh, these names, which is great to see it was such a turnout. We have yeah. 16 people watching right now. Last week, you had a one in three uh, chance <laughs> of winning, right? There's three people who tuned in. And uh, so it, it was an easy win for Zachary Rue. And Zach, your, your, uh, your grips are winging their way off the mail to you. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do with them when they come. So definitely let us know and give us a shout out when you get them. Uh, he's in New Brunswick right now, so uh, I'm sure we get some really cool uh, imagery he can get out there in the Maritimes. And uh, yeah, this little iSteady V2, I'm, I'm actually really impressed by it. Um, at first, I was, it, it does take a bit of time getting used to, so a quick disclaimer, you do have to get the app, which allows you to be able to control the phone from this. But uh, battery life is really good, and the, the best selling point is the fact that it's light. Uh, and so the fact that you have a light gimbal that you can use, you're not going to tax your arm, because if you're vlogging, I mean, let's be honest, you're not going to nail that shot in one take, as we well know, you know, it takes multiple times to get that shot. So uh, definitely, I think something that people can really use. 
Absolutely. Okay. So I am going to read out the names of everyone who's entered. Um, let me know if I've missed anyone. Like if, if you don't hear my, uh, me call your name. Just write in the, the chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the chat, please, please write it in here. So we have, and I'm even adding names as we're doing this. So, okay. So we got Feel the Music, Mode Phasen, Bro Gaming, Bradley Green, Yi Xun, uh, Colin Elliott uh, from Saskatoon, Angel, uh, shout out to Saskatoon, Angelica Girl, uh, Hector Rustin, Blessing O'Chaley, uh, Blessing, I'm so sorry if I messed up that uh, last name, Noob Gamer, Avaya FPV, uh, Marge Olson, uh, we got Phase Gamer, and Gary Chaneda. Did I miss anyone? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, that, and yeah, we've got them all. Oh, I have Gary in here twice. Darn it. <laughs> I can't. Gary, I can't uh, give you a cutting edge here. Let me let me put this in here. And basically, have participate. You're in the chat. If you're in the chat and you've subscribed to our channel, you are you're entered to go. So as long as you're subscribed to the channel, you're in this chat. Your name is being entered into Janica's magical phone here, where she's going to pick your name from the Pixter app. So that's just the app we use to select the names, and then it gives us the results, and then you win. Okay. Uh... Oh, there's two, and there's more modes as well. Mode phase in. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Mode, are you all the same person with different accounts here? How are there so many modes in this <laughs> chat? Mode Badrudin, I'm adding. Mode Ryan and Mode Hassan. That's a lot of modes. Mo a lot of modes. Okay, let me put that in. So Stephen, um, just tell a little bit about the eye study just so I feel okay just ignoring you and uh, putting in these names. So yeah, people are asking in the chat here what was the difference between the eye study V2 and the eye study X, I think. Uh, the V2 has gesture control uh, and it also has an AI vision sensor. Uh, so the AI vision sensor, as you can tell, is this little thing right at the top of the gimbal. Uh, actually, take it out of this box, why not? Uh, so I'll do a very messy unboxing. There's your lid, there's your box, uh, there's your documents. Um, it comes with uh, a little pouch case as well as the documentation, so very nice. Uh, and here is the gimbal itself. So this is the gimbal. Uh, it folds into its shape by releasing the little attachment right here. You, you screw this in together and then you can put your phone into the, uh, the cradle here, which extends, obviously. And it has this little vision sensor up top here. And so this is the AI sensor that tracks your face. And then uh, you have uh, various modes as well as the joystick on the device as well. So that's kind of nice to have too, that you can angle the, uh, the, the gimbal while you're using it. And uh, yeah, it's battery is attached to the base itself. So it charges by uh, USB-C, which is kind of nice. So it's not micro USB. Many products are micro USB. This one is USB-C. So kind of a nice touch there because it's more industry standard, higher quality, faster transmission for data, as well as fast transmission for charging. Uh, and you have a uh, side option here too that has a uh, zoom up and down. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a good gimbal. I mean, it's got a nice weight to the hand. Plus it also, I believe, has an extendable uh, base plate arm that you, when you connect it together with the bottom of the gimbal, it gives you a bit of extension, plus it has legs that can fold out onto your head. People are asking, uh, Yixun uh, is asking, uh, is it light? It's very light, yeah. So this is one thing about this gimbal, which is my favorite selling point, more than the AI face tracker and gesture control and all kind of stuff, is that it's light. It's lighter than the Osmo. Uh, it's, mm. it's built well, uh, which is, you know, you have a, a good connection to the camera here. It's, it's padded with a bit of rubber. So you're not gonna scratch the back of your camera, which some gimbals don't have. Uh, and it's extremely light. Now it's a little bit plasticky. That's one thing about this gimbal, which I have to be honest about. It does have plastic parts. So be careful when you're using it. You don't wanna drop this because as I said in the video, if you drop it, it's probably done. Uh, so take that into consideration. But you know, for keeping lightweight, it can't be metal obviously, unless it's really high grade aluminum. So this is a, it's a nice strong gimbal that you can use. Okay, great. So uh, I have all the names in. We have 19 people watching right now. Um, Colin Elliott, uh, he makes a good point. If Gary wins today as well, 
then we could just ship both of the gimbals in the same package. Uh, so, you know, in that way, uh, that's, that's a great idea. But I got all the names in here. Okay, we're going to, oh, Marcel Dantremont comes oh, in Marcel. last minute, comes in last minute for the entry. Okay, that's kind of how Zachary Rue did it last time too. Marcel mm -hmm. yeah. Dantremont. I'll put Marcel D and Midhun. Okay, we got we to gotta close it off at Midhun after this, or I'm just going to spend the rest of this episode putting in names. Okay. Okay. So the entry for the iSteady V2 has ended. We will still take names for the Falcon and plus uh, all of these people as well. So shall we pick the winner of the iSteady V2? Let's pick it. Let's do it. Okay. So pick Hector Rustin. Congratulations. Hector Rustin is our winner of the iSteady V2. That is yours. So just contact us, Hector. We'll definitely get in contact with you and we will send us out as soon as we possibly can. And uh, just make sure the shipping is paid for. We can talk to you about that in email. But other than that, this iSteady is now yours. Congratulations. Yes. Uh, Hector, please reach out to us on Instagram. I'm putting that on, um, uh, on our uh on the chat here so you can reach out to uh, on instagram with all of your uh, contact details congrats hector congrats that's awesome so that's our first giveaway of today so congratulations now we've got one more and i have to be honest this is my favorite of the group so it's kind of cool to save the, the the best for last potentially or also i think in this case if you're an action cam shooter this will really really be helpful to you in your workflow uh, before we hop into this, Janica, do you have anything you want to talk about this uh, yeah, yeah. news regarding Sony and the uh, A6500 being uh, essentially taken off the Sony production line? Yeah, it's crazy because, you know, and, and you mentioned uh, the Iron Bee uh, had a picture of the A6300 on the box. And I thought that was so it surreal did. because like my first camera was an A6300, which I love. I still have it. It's still my B cam. I'm thinking of upgrading it, but I can't in good conscience because it does so well. It, yeah. In a way, you know, it, it's sometimes better than the A7 III that I have. Uh, and uh, it's funny this way that uh, sometimes the older models are able to do better in certain situations. There's been times that Stevens commented on my uh, Mavic OG, my Mavic Pro 1, coming out with better color science than the Mavic 2 Pro in certain situations. Now I would say the Mavic 2 Pro is actually fantastic in a lot of situations that the OG isn't like low light and stuff like that. But in a way, when, when brands come out with a new um, product to try and take market share, they have to put in a lot of quality into the product for the price. Uh, mm -hmm. And in that, so that people will want to buy it. Now that Sony has the, the name and the brand in the mirrorless in industry, now they can start cutting corners and people will still buy it because of the brand. But back when mirrorless cameras were just trying to make it, right? Uh, and they were trying to, um, they were trying to uh, squeeze out DLC, DSLRs. They were trying to make a name in the camera business and squeeze out Fuji and Canon and, and Nikon. Then that's when they have to make a really quality camera. So it, it was amazing to see that even though the A6300 was discontinued last year, it's still showing up on these newer products yeah. uh, and accessories. But uh, I, it's surprising also that the A6500, they've just decided to discontinue. On their website, it says no longer available, even though they haven't come out with an official um, mentioned that the a6500 yeah. isn't uh, being uh, continued it just says no longer available uh, and it's being discontinued so it's interesting they touted it with the best uh, ibis when it came out uh, the best autofocus uh, it only came out a few months after the a6300 mm -hmm. since then we have the a6100 a6400 and a6600 i think there's still room for the a6500 to make a, a name for itself but it's surprising that they just canceled it it's very interesting, like you said, obviously, with this idea that past technology in, in some ways can look, if not, maybe not better, but has a certain kind of, uh, I guess, 
familiarity, let's just say, when it comes to what you expect from a color science, sharpness, contrast, all that kind of stuff. And I know especially that certain cameras and pairings with lenses work really well. And I'm a big fan of the old Lumix G85, which is my camera that I took to Scotland. I got lots of footage with that camera. And that camera was paired on that trip with a, 60, uh, a Sigma 16 millimeter uh, f1.4 lens at the micro four thirds lens. And that combination of the G85 with the Sigma 16 millimeter, in many ways, I like the look of that camera and that lens better than sometimes what my GH5 at the time could do. Uh, I don't know if that's particularly based on the sensor, if that was based on my settings, obviously, or just the lens being a fantastic lens. But I found that the color science and whatever I was working with in terms of my contrast sharpness and, and settings for my shooting profile looked just that little bit more chicken soupy goodness that, if that's actually a term you can use, but that kind of idea that was familiar and I, I, I get nostalgic looking at that footage. And now, I mean, today I don't shoot a GH5, G85, those cameras are obviously sold and I've, I've upgraded to the Lumix uh, S5 now, which is my, my secondary camera that I shoot for vlogs. But it's interesting to see that kind of image. Now, of course, it's not the same megapixel sensor and it doesn't do 4K, 60, or all this kind of like high-end shooting. Uh, it might do 4K, 60 actually, but it doesn't do all this high-end shooting that the Lumix S5 can do. It doesn't have raw or HDMI to an Atlas Ninja to shoot in 6K and all that kind of stuff. But I really did like the look of that. And you know, for anybody looking to get into a camera for the first time, that G85 can deliver amazing results. And I've actually recommended that to people to say, if you're looking to get into mirrorless cameras and looking to start off, take a look at that G85. So it's not to say that the next best camera coming out is gonna just you know, destroy the you know, camera you currently have, but always take into consideration that if you like something and if you like what you're shooting on and you like the image coming out of it, just tweak it. You know, work with that camera that you currently have. You don't need to jump to a new camera. Um, and the Lumix, I'm sorry, the Sony A6300 is a testament to that too, Jonica, because I've seen like the weddings that you shot on that. And in my yeah. mind, can seeing some of the YouTube videos out there of other, other wedding videographers who were shooting in, sometimes on really high-end cameras, like we're talking like, you know, the, the Canon R5 or R6. I sometimes like what you did on an A6300. So it's all about the shooters, not necessarily the gear. Well, and you know, I will say this until I die, you can have the best gear in the world, but still I would say 80% of the shot is dependent mm -hmm. on, um, dependent on uh, lighting, you know? Oh, and yeah. <laughs> like how you tune in the lighting to, uh, to your camera settings. It's so important. Yeah. And only, only now am I really getting into uh, using manual uh, uh, for photography and, and it, it's uh, it's kind of a game changer because sometimes you want things to be underexposed slightly so you can have a darker moodier look uh, and all of those things so you know it's it it's funny that we've been working with the same gear for a long time and you can still learn how to use it better uh, let's hop back to the chat here for one second erica erica iris is in the chat hey erica how are you doing um the gimbal we gave away first was the iSteady, and that was given away, Jonica, to who again? That was Hector, who won it? Hector, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Hector, uh, Hector Rustand. Is he, did he show where he is on the chat? Hector, if you are still here, can you yeah. type in the super chat whereabouts you are? Yeah, Hector, where, where, uh, what country are you uh, uh, watching us from? Let's see if that pops here from the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still watching. Um, and you know what? I think we should start uh, taking names for the Falcon entry. So since we had the iSteady giveaway, we've had people drop off as well. So um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go under this comment, say hi to enter for the next giveaway. Okay, perfect. So uh, everyone say hi, because there's the 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 not loyal fans have uh, probably dropped off they just <laughs> they thought that the giveaway was done they tuned in and now they're gone so please say hi again so we can amend this list so we don't give a, give it to away to someone who isn't uh isn't here anymore okay. so we got bradley's in field music's in gary's in angelica girls and ian hammond hey how's it going ian 
Ian, my buddy from way back in the day in Port Coquitlam. Big shout out to you, buddy. Uh, we've got Colin Elliott's in, Marge Olson's in, Bro Gaming is in, Erica definitely is saying a huge operatic high, so she's definitely in. <laughs> uh, we've got Mo Ryan's in, Marcel Dontremont's in, and Gary is in too. Fantastic. And Hector is in Toronto. Hector, phenomenal. He's in Toronto. You're um, in Tor- Hector, do, do we know Hector? Hector uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm personally, off, offhand, I don't. But that's hey, amazing. Yeah. yeah no. Family shooters. Fantastic. Yeah. Amazing. So uh, this, let's talk about what this is. This is the Falcon 3-axis gimbal. This is our last giveaway of the day. And as I said before, this is my favorite of the whole group of this little package of uh, off-market gimbals. And this is for your action camera. And so one thing I've learned is that you can also create a ton of content using action cameras. So that's GoPro, Insta360, Zosmo Actions. I sound like a commercial here, but anyways, these cameras are really versatile and they're great obviously for being on a bike and running around and taking stuff of action. That's also good if you're looking just to shoot things around the house, if you wanna create slow motion uh, video, if you're looking to do video of hikes, videos of walks, videos of vlogging, they're very versatile. And this little thing, makes this just shine. Now, aside from the point of it can be a gimbal and access and all the fun things that gimbals can do, it balances really well. So if you have a little cage for your gimbal, like I have for my Osmo Action, that's got a cold shoe mount up top here that you can uh, put a microphone into, like a little uh, Rode video micro, you have the ultimate vlogging setup because this can go on top of this particular gimbal. You put your microphone on top, you turn the gimbal to look at you and you have yourself a vlogging setup on your action cam. And that works with the GoPro, and as I said, with the Osmo Action, S360, you name it. Um, this comes with uh, a little bag here. You get your little, obviously, screw for the mount to screw for the action camera into the gimbal, tripod, and charging cable. Uh, so let's just take a look at it. And the one other dirty unboxing here, but there you go. And we, we love this, by the way. This one was great. Yeah, very, very cool. Now, quick disclaimer, with a lot of these, uh, you know, I, I should call them like not third party gimbals, but I say not mainstream gimbals that are sold here in North America in some cases. Some of the instructions are either in Mandarin or Cantonese. Uh, this one did have a, a quick English description on the back of it, but take a look online if you want to figure out the shooting modes, because it has four shooting modes. Uh, and I'm sure there's probably some videos out there that talk about the shooting modes in detail. Okay, great. So, um... You know what? Uh, I think we got everyone on here. Um, and here's the gimbal itself. Yeah, we have a few new people. Ian Byrne, I, I see you. M editor, we got you in there as well. Um, there was some. There was a lot of modes that. Uh, so mode Hassan, I got you. Um, but uh, mode Badra Rudin and Mo, mode Ryan, are you still here as well? So I don't want to. If you're not here, I'm going to take you off the list. Oh, Modran is here. Yeah, my bad. Okay, go ahead, Stephen. Okay, so let's just set this up. So this little action camera is, or this little gimbal is a really, really good gimbal. Let's just turn this on here. So as you can tell, this is your action camera gimbal. It's fully controllable by a little um, kind of joystick at the back here. And you have four different shooting modes, which you can't probably see that well, but there is uh, PF, HL, FPV, and, and FL. And for the life of me, I could not figure out what every single mode meant. Um, but I did find there's one that allows you also to shoot, and I believe it was a 16 by nine version of it too. I think it was, was it this one? No, I think it was the FPV. So it's also, if you're looking to do any kind of uh, steady cam gimbal for TikTok or for reels, really cool feature is that you can shoot in a vertical format. Um, but this little gimbal is, you know, it's it's really good. Uh, it's it's same kind of construction as the iSteady, so a little bit plasticky, um, but the gimbal motors and the gyro motors are all on metal. So that's a cool bonus. It has a little screw. And as I said before top, it's got that cold shoe mount if you get one for your, gim- uh, for your action camera that you can utilize this to do Logging, and that, that's a huge bonus because you can utilize this for a constant setup. And it does have a, a wireless function as well too, so you can control your, uh, I guess this would be video mode function as well as photos. 
and also a timed photo mo mode too, because it does come with a little extension arm as well, that that extension arm can go into the bottom of it, like so, which gives you a longer arm for the gimbal, kind of fun. And it folds out into a leg as well, so kind of cool. Um, but that's not bad. So I now have an extension arm on the gimbal. So really cool, my favorite of the group, uh, and definitely would be great for shooting any kind of short film on an action camera. Yeah, and I was actually shocked with how well it stabilized everything. Um, yeah. like you'll see that in our episode. And guys, like uh, I'm sure we don't need to even say this, but as much as you can, you know, make sure you're subscribed, of course. All right. But if you uh, if you see episodes that you like, please share the love, like, uh, and uh, share the episode because it just helps grow this channel. It supports us, uh, so we could get even more visibility out there, get more of this gear from uh, uh, manufacturers to send to us, and mm -hmm. like literally, we don't keep any of this. We give them yeah. to you. So. Like if uh, the better our channel does, the better you guys do as well. And where else can you get like a one in 20 chance of winning a $600 gimbal like Gary did uh, a few weeks ago, you know? Exactly. Or this, which is 150 bucks, I believe. Yep, We've yep. given away over, I think, almost close to $2,000 in products. I, no, definitely more than that. Oh, definitely. We? Well, because like, even oh, like, we have, yeah. the, the Air Cross was 600 bucks and the, the Mini was like uh, also 600 bucks. So that's yeah. like 1300 bucks right there, right? That's crazy. Wow. I mean, who would have thought back, like, you know, we started this channel, we'd be doing this. But yeah, this is a good little gimbal. And uh, we've got people in the chat here, I think, who are very curious to I, win it. So enough rambling, yeah, let's yeah. this away. I think, I think we'll just go ahead. I have all the names here. We're ready to go. Pixter, do your thing. Okay. Ian Byrne. Ian Byrne. You got Ian. it. Congratulations. Ian. Fantastic. Ian, write it in the channel. Whereabouts are you from? Yeah. Ian Byrne? How do you spell his last name? B-Y-R-N-E. Sounds Scottish almost. Sounds Scot Scottish. Scottish. Man, speaking of Scottish, uh, you got to check out um, um, Stephen's uh, a travel short about Scotland and sounds of Scotland. It's fantastic. Right? It was it's fantastic what... until the uh, YouTube gods maybe strike the audio because the audio was copyrighted. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's that right. was back because that was way back before monetization on the channel and all that stuff that goes along with your channel grows. Oh, but... Ian's Ian's from Dublin. Dublin, uh, fantastic! Yeah. We're sending a gimbal to Ireland. I love that. That's amazing. That's awesome. Congrats, Ian. Yeah, yeah. Take that's some footage, awesome. Ian, and put it on your socials and put it on your YouTube channel, and please tag us because we'd love to see what you can do with this. Because if you're a skateboarder too, or if you're like someone who like rocks it out doing action cameras on a bike or skateboards or whatever, hiking or even parasailing or whatever else, this little thing will really help you because it gives you a really good extension arm for yep. the gimbal. Yep. Yeah. It's fantastic. And so, you know, um, uh, we have many more things to give away in the future. And so, you know, please stay tuned. Uh, I know I, I like, I'd like to think that you're not just watching us because of the stuff we give away, but it is definitely a perk. And, you know, uh, we're very happy to do it. But, you know, like this is just a fun channel where we get uh, I love that we can just speak our mind, uh, you know, be as creative as we want to. Uh, and mm -hmm. that there's people out there that really appreciate it. So, you know what? Oh, it's just like, thank you so much, guys. Here we go. Hey, guys, I actually don't have an action camera. I'm happy for it to be re-raffled off. Oh. Ian, what a saint. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what, Ian? We really appreciate it. And you know what? We're going to do something special for you. Uh, like 100%, we're going to do something special for you in the future. Um, let, uh, Ian, do you have a... Uh, you know what? Uh, we'll make sure that we, we actually do something very special for him. Uh, guy, send Ian your love because he is re-raffling it off for you guys. Because he Who has an action camera? I mean, it's a big thing too. Uh, can you please you, type in the chat? You, you know what? Like... Uh, it, it is really up to anyone because you know what? They might get an action camera afterwards. Um, yeah. I, we, Ian, we really appreciate that. We appreciate the honesty that you're not just taking it. So you could like say, sell it. Um, and we're going to do something very special for you. So um, yeah. Stand up guy. Indeed, Brad. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Absolutely. you know what? Let's re-raffle it off. Ian. Yeah. Like I said, we're going to do something very special for him. Okay. We got, yeah. we got to, remember this guy 
Um, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So I mean, hope, hopefully now to the winner upcoming of the re-raffle of this, it's still brand new, hasn't been new. Uh, if you have an action camera, we would love this to go to, the, to someone who can use this, obviously, who has an action camera, as you yeah. can tell. I think that's where it deserves to go. Yeah, there, there's really no strings attached when it is like, you know, people could say that they have an action camera and then just end up selling yeah. it on eBay anyway. Like, we're not going to try and control it or anything like that. We, again, we really appreciate it, Ian. And uh, we're going to make sure that, yeah, something uh, special happens for you in the future. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's re raffle it off. Let's see. Who okay. Pick Sharon Olsen. <laughs> Sharon Olson wins. Okay. And Sharon, uh, 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 hopefully you're here because um, you were earlier. Sharon's yeah, still yeah. on the channel. Hopefully she's Yeah, here. yeah. Ho hopefully they didn't <laughs> just run away. Um, but Sharon, uh, you got to thank Ian for this because, yeah, he's the reason that you got it. Congrats, Sharon Olson. There we go. Well, I mean, that's that is Ian paying it forward, and like you said, Ian will definitely be setting especially your way for yeah, this. Yeah, like seriously, like it, we're uh, what's going to happen is honestly we're going to get stuff, uh, and instead of giving it away in a live giveaway, uh, or like we're just going to ask him, like, can you use this? Can you use this? Mm -hmm. Can you, um, yeah, can you, um, yeah, are, are you able to use this as well? So. Uh, he's just going to have first dibs on the, uh, on the very next things. Right. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Well, stand up guy. Like I, I'm, I, I've only seen it once other time in my life where some, uh, someone who um, uh, I hope Sharon's still here. Otherwise she gets the, uh, she gets uh, uh, canceled out. Right. We, oh, we have sure. to, yeah. yeah. Sharon, please comment if you're still here. Uh, so we know uh, that you're still here and so that we could give it to uh, someone is that's actually Sharon watching here is Sharon here because if, Sh if Sharon yeah. isn't here this yeah. will go to somebody who is here so we have to make sure that we give this to, the, uh, to somebody because we yeah. also have seven people still watching yeah we'll 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 give it a couple of uh, minutes because I know that there's a slight delay as well from what we're saying as well so um, hopefully uh, she's still here otherwise we got to give it away to someone else <laughs> Kunal, I think uh, you misspelled. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I'll tag her. I'll see if she's here still. Sharon, are you are you online? Please say hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the... Okay, so we'll give her a couple minutes. Um, uh, like we'll give her literally two minutes, or we're giving it away to someone else. Um, so. Because I know, like, sometimes people are tough with technology, too. They're doing it on mm -hmm. mobile. Sometimes you don't know. Yeah, so we'll figure it out. Oh, the awkwardness of live streams. They are so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, like, you know, going back to Ian, like, seriously, like, what we get now, we're just going to give him first pick uh, on what, what's next, right? Is that Absolutely. What oh, I was going to say, the only other time I've seen that was there was a draw for a choir concert, right? And... Oh, uh, Hector, send it to uh, our Instagram. It's either at underscore Stephen underscore Bell. Did I get that right? That's the one. Or, yeah, or at uh, Janica Wellahinda. Um, yeah, and uh, so send us your information and, and we'll get in touch. Uh-oh, one more minute, Sharon, or we'll have to give it away to someone else. Oh, I, I think she's gone. I don't think she's... I think oh. she's gone. Yeah. <laughs> the 30 second awkwardness of live stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. There must be a, there must be a, a delay. Um, okay, yeah. so um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So it was a choir concert and the person won like the huge gift basket. And then they ended up... Um, uh, and they ended up um, winning and then giving it back because they... Uh, they were uh, a board member and they were just trying to donate money. Right. So they bought the raffle tickets. And so he was like, he was like, just like re-raffle it off, re-raffle it off. So like, I I've always appreciated it since then. Yeah. I, I do think Sharon's time is up. Sharon's time is up. We have to, did Sharon we have comment? to give it away. Sharon did not come. I'm looking at the comments. I don't see any comment from Sharon. 
for a while now. I think Sharon may have left the stream, unfortunately. Just scrolling back. Let's see. I think she's been gone for a bit now. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, she's gone. Yeah, uh, we, we don't see any comments from Sharon. I just got a message, actually, on, on Facebook that she did comment, but I'm not seeing anything. Sharon, last chance. If you're, if you're on the stream, you got to comment now. I think we've Let's given say, every opportunity. Yeah, we got to be fair to the people here who are uh, still watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and also, if you could now, since uh, if this is the case, please write hi if you're still in a live stream because you will be entered into the draw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think go ahead, Jataka, we can do. Yeah, yeah, we got to. Yeah, we got to give it to someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Stephen, if you could put our Instagram names down, that'd be great. Absolutely. Okay, so, okay, we're picking someone else now. All right, so here comes the third time the charm Sorry, I, draw. I, I, I got to open up my Pixter app again. <laughs> my bad. Okay. All right, here we go. Awesome. We got people. Yep, so... And once, once again, if you have an action camera, this is a fantastic gimbal. Really something that you can utilize to, uh, to do a lot of awesome okay. work on. All right, okay, John, get ready. Done, giving it away to someone else. Here we go. Pick Phase Gamer. Phase Gamer. Gamer. Please tell me, are you on Phase yeah. Gamer? You got to comment like in the next minute. Yes. Phase Gamer, congrats. Are you in the chat? Uh, Comment if you are here. It's actually F A I Z. Oh, F F A I Z. F A I Z. I really hope he's here. I don't think he is here. To be yeah, honest. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the awkwardest okay. giveaway ever. Oh my goodness! Can't give. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, uh, we're we're just gonna give like f fifteen seconds. They like comment. That's how we got to do this, right? Yeah, exactly. We'll, yeah. we'll just keep picking names. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, <laughs> 3, 2, 1, 0. Uh, we give it, uh, give it away to the next person? Ian, look what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ian, I love it. I love it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, uh, he, yeah, <laughs> it's getting fun. <laughs> it is getting fun. This is like spin the wheel. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, next. Are we, are we, are we doing this? Yeah, you got to okay. comment being on the stream, friends. Okay, let's take phase out. Okay, so he doesn't get picked again. Okay. Okay, picking. Re-raffle. Here we go. Yeah, LMAO is exactly it. This is exactly Paul what and is, Elliot. Yeah. Come on down. Colin, Colin Elliot. Okay, Colin are you Elliot. on? Colin Elliot. Congrats, Colin. Comment if you're here. Colin. Or Colin, on. say hi, Colin. Hi, if you're here yes colin oh, okay <laughs> colin elliott from saskatoon wins <laughs> the falcon um what is it the falcon R remind me steven falcon this is the falcon three axis gimbal for it's just called the falcon. action camera so this okay. is the winner going off to saskatoon i love it perfect okay great Okay, and, awesome. and I think that's a wrap, you know? <laughs> I think, I think that was, that's it. <laughs> that was plenty of excitement for today. Um, okay, let's just put our Instagrams one more time for people to follow and for people to um, uh, at underscore Stephen underscore Bell. That's the one. Okay. Uh, and then at Janica. There we go, at Janica Wellahinda. Okay, those are our Instagrams. Uh, please call in and Hector get in touch with us so we can send you the gear. Gary, I'm getting it out to you before Tuesday. You better believe it. Uh, we're sending it off to you. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining us, guys. And uh, we'll talk soon. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Everyone be well and stay tuned. There is more drives, more giveaways, all kinds of fun stuff coming up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Talk soon. Bye.